times do I have to tell you, Captain? Leave me alone. I need you to stay awake for me, Your Highness. Can't you see that I'm trying to sleep? We do not have any time to waste. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't important. What could be more important right now than sleep? We've been invaded, Your Highness. What did you say? We've been invaded, ma'am. By criminals. Tell me what happened. Captain, tell me what happened. Our betrothal party was targeted by a planned attack from the Kremlins. Your mother and a few of the castle staff managed to escape unharmed, whilst I was tasked with your evacuation. You fell victim to one of those creatures' attacks as I tried to get to you. Princess, you have been unconscious for two days. As for the kingdom, it lies in ruins. Attacks were merciless. Homes, businesses, hospitals, schools. Reduced to nothing but rubble. Men. Women and children. All lost. I tried the best I could, but... However, <clears throat> we are lucky to have a handful of people with little to no injury. Me and the army are still assessing the damages, but it is clear this is going to be a long and difficult recovery for the kingdom. What about the Kremlin we have in our hold? They seem to have escaped our custody and reunited with their kind. It is still unclear whether they were the masterminds behind this attack, but by my truth, find them, and they will not go without punishment. outside the kingdom. Your mother instructed I bring you here. She had these bunkers constructed in case we were ever invaded. <sighs> However, I don't think anyone ever imagined we'd actually use them. These bunkers are mainly used for storage now. Do you think the Kremlins will find us here? That isn't something that I can confidently answer, Your Highness. But so we're just sitting ducks here? I'm afraid so. In the meantime, Her Majesty has requested that I escort you to her to discuss the best course of action moving forward. The surviving citizens are already pressing for answers. I suggest we act quickly. What about my handmaiden, Tiana? Princess, we do not have time to figure what out- What about Tiana? Captain, did she make it out? Fairly well. I spent some time there regarding trade negotiations. The kingdom is north northeast of here. A few days trek. Mostly flat ground. Why is it you ask? Princess, I implore you to reconsider. You leaving the kingdom now while we are under siege would be a grave mistake. Captain, look at what we're up against. I understand the dangers of leaving, but it would be foolish if we didn't try and seek help. I mean, can't you see that we're outmatched here? We need to think about this carefully. We are up against criminals who have slaughtered millions of people for years without mercy. There's no time for diplomacy. Your presence is required here. We have plenty of scouts that can go and speak to our allies in your place. If anything were to happen to you, this kingdom would not recover. I would not recover! Be able to forgive myself if I allowed you to put yourself in harm's way. 
I won't allow it. Not again. Captain, the, the King of Cosmos is our closest and most trusted ally we have. Mother told me about his research and he knows about these creatures, how they think and how they move. And I refuse to stand by and do nothing whilst the fate of our kingdom hangs in the balance. As the future ruler, I have a duty to do whatever I can to protect our people. Even if it means putting myself in danger, you know this just as well as I do. We cannot afford to lose one more innocent life, Captain. King's research may be the only chance that we have to make things right. Can you truly bear to let that chance vanish? Do you really expect us to go to war against these creatures and risk everything that we've built? War. Is that truly the price we must pay? Your devotion to your role is clear, Princess. And I'll do whatever I can to help. However, I cannot allow you to go without some sort of protection. That's my only condition. Very well. If that's so, then who do you propose accompanies me? No. No, 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 no. I'm not going anywhere alone with you, never in a thousand years. I'm aware of how much you dislike me, but I'm the best equipped to protect you. The rest of the army is serving to your subjects. Plus, I don't believe it would be wise to go against the Queen's orders. What orders? To serve and protect you against any threat, no matter how big or small. I don't care if you're protecting me or not. I'm not going anywhere with you. I don't... I don't... Princess, you are the future of this kingdom. A representation of this kingdom's hope. I failed to protect your citizens. I failed to keep you safe. I, can, I cannot let that happen again. Allow me to safeguard this kingdom's future. I swore an oath on my life. And I promise you I don't have any plans of breaking it anytime soon. Fine. Okay. Here's what we'll do. Okay, we'll head to Cosmos and talk with the king. Whilst I do that, you keep guard for Kremlins, utilize a head, distract and just do whatever you need to do as long as you stay out of my way. Understand? What about us? What do you mean? You know what I mean. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Okay, so what if I do? Well, this doesn't change my feelings about it. I know. I know? What does that mean? What else do you want me to say? I'm trying here. Then try harder. I don't get you, you know. Every time I try and figure you out, I end up back at square one. You're acting like we're complete strangers. And that's supposed to be my problem. We are strangers. Captain, stop pretending like we're meant to be something. This isn't how you speak to people. Let alone your betrothed. When will you stop treating me like horse shit? When will you realize that none of this is my fault? We are not betrothed, Simon. According to your parents, we are. According to the entire kingdom, we are. Well, you know damn well that we never agreed to this arranged marriage in the first place, so stop trying to make it work between us. Can't you see? Well, can't you see that I would rather die than be in any kind of relationship with you? If you even think for one second that I'll submit to you, then you are very sorely mistaken. Plague upon.